Well, what's up again, guys? Brian here at 3TR. Welcome to the next episode of the People's Questions, where I answer all the awesome questions that you guys have sent me over the past week. As you can see, I'm getting ready for Super Bowl weekend, and I gotta say, that is a very interesting coincidence because I have quite a lot of questions. So, yeah, probably better just jump right into them because there is quite a lot of them. So, starting off with some of the first question, coming from a regular, mind going by name of said to Scarpino, and you want to know, is there any movie I thought was bad that had a good ending? Yes, as a matter of fact, there was. Um, movie 43 was, well, actually still is, considered to be the worst movie I think I'll ever see in my life. But the fact that it had credits was good. The credits and the fact that I could leave, even though I wanted to leave so many times during the movie, was the best part about that film. So yeah, I guess you could say the worst movie ever made, even more so than The Room, uh, probably had good credit. So yeah. Next question comes from Casty J. Williams. He wants to know, what are my thoughts on the 1960s Batman TV show? Uh, you know, it, it, it well, that's like, well, that's like, well, that's like 30 years before my time. Uh, I did, uh, I, I did happen to see a few episodes of it. It, you know, it's cheesy. But I guess that's what Batman was back in the 60s. But, you know, it's it's classic Batman. Every, everyone has usually has a, you know, superheroes like that usually has a pretty strange origin. So, but, you know, it, it, it has its funny moments. I like the shark repellent and other things. Next question comes from Macho Wesker, 17. You want to know? Biggest to lowest, who has the, okay, biggest to lowest ego between Wesker, Palpatine, and Sephiroth? I spent actually a good hour thinking about this, but I think I came up with, a, with an answer. Uh, I think Sephiroth has the least biggest ego because at one point he was a good guy, so that's that's something. Then I would go with Wesker, because Wesker was just born evil, but you know he, he gets taken down pretty easily. And, I think the biggest ego is probably Palpatine. I mean, he wants to rule the galaxy and, you know, so I, I would probably say Palpatine by far is the biggest ego. I mean, even if you go into the uh, Dark, the Dark Empire storylines, when he kind of resurrects himself through his clone bodies, he's got an enormous ego even then. So that that's something that must have been with him all this time throughout his entire life. Next question comes from Matt Cruz. You want to know, what is my favorite animated short film? Uh... Animated short film. I'm not sure if this consider if this what I'm about to say can, is considered a short film, but uh, some of you might not remember this. But you guys remember the movie A Bug's Life from Pixar? They had this little short at the beginning. I'm not sure if it played in theaters or, but I know it's on the the tape of the DVD. But it's this old guy. He's in the park. He's playing chess, and he's got no one to play with, and so he's playing with himself but he's like playing two different evil like like a good and evil version of himself and like right when the good one is about to lose he like fakes a heart attack he switches the board to make it seem like i didn't do anything and you know the 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 bad version of himself doesn't know what to do and so he just you know concedes checkmate and i always thought that was that was that was kind of funny in, in a sense so i would say just off the top of my head that would be probably my favorite animated short next question because we got a lot of them comes from, let's see, do, 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 do. okay, Diet Drive CJ, you want to know if you had somehow to choose between Power Cosmic and the Phoenix Force, which would I pick and why? Probably Power Cosmic, because that sounds like a much cooler name. Phoenix Force just sounds a little bit too cheesy, but Power Cosmic, just the word cosmic. Sounds so cool, so I'd probably go with that. Next question comes from Jalen Bradford. You want to know, do I think that Black Panther can compare to Batman in a fist fight? I believe he easily can. I mean, I know that uh, someone, I think someone later in this video, in, in the comment section, asked what my thoughts are on the next death battle between uh, Batman and Black Panther. And I think Black Panther will win. Um... But yeah, I think he, I think Black Panther is more than a, a more than enough match for for Batman. So yeah, by, by, certainly. Next question comes from do, do, do. let's see. 
Tanuki player, and you want to know, have I ever played a sh Shimun, like, I think that's how it says. Have I played one of those games, and am I looking forward to sh Shinbu 3? Uh, no, actually. Um, I've seen videos of it, and it looks somewhat interesting, so I guess I'll give Shinmu 3 a chance when it comes out. I'll probably rent it, but, uh, no, I've never actually, I never actually got a chance to play it when it first came out. Next question comes from, if Dante and Virgil work together, do I, do I think that they could defeat their father, Sparta? Hell no. Uh, it, it depends on which Dante and Virgil you're talking about. If you're talking about, say, like Devil May Cry 3, Dante and Virgil, the answer is no. No, I, no, he, d Sparta would be so far ahead of them. I mean, they, you could say, well, well, technically he, he beat the power of Sparta. He beat some hu crazed human who got his hands on a portion of the full power of Sparta. I don't think anyone could really control that power as much as the actual Sparta could. So if they tried taking him on, I don't think they'd be strong enough at that point. I think later on in their life, if you give them like a good 10 or 15 years later and they decide to work together or take on Sparta, then probably I think they could win. Next question comes, wait, I think I said, yeah, that one was from Russell Farmer, yeah. And the next question comes from Yoda Date. And you want to know, could I use NGL from Crisis Core in a battle? Yeah, sure. Um, if people want me to use NGL, the trick with using NGL is not so much the sources, it's getting enough images and, and clips. I could get, I could get plenty of clips from the game itself, but when, when it comes to verse series, I never like to work with a character that I can't find a minimum of 30 to 40 different images. Sometimes I'll push it to 40 to 50, just so I'm not circling through them. Which is why you might see some images like more than twice. I'm literally trying to circle through them. So I like to keep it kind of in that area. If I can't find enough like fan art or clip or, you know, screenshots of the character, then I probably won't use that character. I mean, that's kind of what has like hindered me from using certain characters in the Final Fantasy franchise. It's not that I don't have the information. I can easily find the information. It's just getting enough clips and images of them. Next question comes. Ooh. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest. I I don't even know how to even begin to pronounce this name. So just to, you know, not not to butcher your name because I'm really bad with names. There's your name up there, and you basically want to know when will I be making Edward versus Connor because you're getting very excited and there's like looks like nine or ten different varies. Okay, it is coming out this year, guaranteed. I really did post the entire schedule in terms of which matches were going to come out when. That is posted on my Facebook, which there is a link to the, in the description. I did this maybe a couple of weeks ago. The reason I'm not going to say it now is because for those who want to keep that a surprise, I'm, I'm doing it for them. But if anyone is really curious to see the entire like lineup of matches I have and when they'll probably be uploaded, it, it is on my Facebook. If you just go to the photos and there's an album section that says 3TR versus series season four. It literally has them all in, in pictures and when they should come out. So if, you really, if you're really that curious, that's where I would suggest you look. Next question comes from Jake Albinet. And you said this is kind of a follow-up question from the last video. And you want to know what kind of decks and strategies do I run with one of the three decks that I have, by the way, as well? Okay, well, the, well, that's my decks are back there. Okay, the blue deck is basically a Kaiba deck. It is basically just a mixture of all of the Carter, the Kaiba, Kaiba starter decks, including the original one, the, and the structure decks, including a number of cards that I've seen him use throughout the series. And like every card in both the, and that's what's in the blue deck. And I put uh, my personal obelisk in that deck. And I did the same thing for the red deck, which that's the Yugi deck. The green one is mine. And the, the, the type of strategies that I use is, I don't, I don't like doing what a lot of duelists use. It's like basically, they, they have like these, I don't even know what the hell they're doing, but just from the, the last time I saw a, a, a deck, is like they, they literally have decks that are built around one specific strategy. 
and it's usually and like the like their entire deck is basically there's, there's different types of monsters. There's specific types of monsters. You got you got like grave keepers. You've got arch fiends. You like cards like that. Their entire decks are built like that, and every. Thing in their deck is built around one type of strategy. I kind of like to have a minimum of six main six. I, okay, here's what I do. I call them. Pri there's primary strategies and then there's secondary strategies. I have four primary strategies and two secondary strategies. The trick about my deck is that each of these strategies has parts that can work with other strategies, so they're not cut off. So if I have say two or three different cards that are used, I usually use for one type of strategy, though I don't necessarily have to use them the way I intend to, they can be somewhat compatible with another strategy. Maybe not as effectively, but perhaps give me enough time to come up with probably a primary strategy to come up. By having all of these cards face, based around one, different, one specific strategy, as most decks that I've seen, it basically comes down to what type of deck that you have because we're at a point, or at least the last time I saw dueling, we're at a point where there are literally decks that are designed to take out other decks. And there are certain decks that are that don't have the cards to combat other ones. So you really have to pick your opponents. There are like that that, that is what is so horrible about Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu today. Back in the day, you would build your deck depending on what kind of cards you liked, and then you would just duel at it. But nowadays, if you literally go into a duel against a deck that you know your deck cannot com combat, you have no way of winning. You've lost the duel before you've even drawn a card because your deck is not designed to fight your opponent's deck. So it's 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 crazy how it works. So that's just how my decks are are, are built. Next question comes from Virgil, the son of Sparta. You want to know. If I were in a Resident Evil universe and met Leon and Chris, what would I like to tell them? Uh, okay. Um, I'm a big fan. And, uh, how the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> um, if I'm around those two, I'm guessing I'm probably in the middle of some outbreak of some type. So I would ask them, can you guys help me get the hell out of here? Or, yeah, just help me get the hell out of the area. Because wherever they are, danger is not far behind. Next question comes from Jay. You want to know, am I going to watch Batman Gotham by Gaslight? I've actually already seen that animated film. And if you want me to do a review, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get it up on one of my scheduled days to upload a video. Next question comes from the Immortal Superman. And will you consider doing any of these matchups? Nemesis versus Krauser. Nemesis would win. Or Triarch versus Nemesis. Trencher, Trenchy, or I don't even know who the hell that is, but I'm guessing Nemesis will probably win both of those matchups. So, yeah, there's really no need to go into that one. Next question comes from Albin, uh, Al, Albed, Mr. Albed Z. Hope I said that right. I know you've been around for a while. You want to know, do I watch my own videos? Yes. Um, there's only one video I, 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 don't, I don't watch, but usually, but usually I'll go back and watch older videos just to kind of see how I've developed or if my feelings on a certain t video has, has changed. And, and, and I, I've definitely done that. Like, I'll always go back and like check some of my loot crate boxes. I'll definitely go back and watch old versus series matchups to see, you know, you know, is there anything I would have changed back then or how have I improved? Is there anything I could take back or top 10 list videos, see if those would change, see if I would do an update version of them. But, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I think, I think that, that that's important to do if you're a YouTuber because I, I've always, there's, there's their old YouTube saying, it's like one of the cardinal rules is that you should never upload a video that you would not watch yourself. And I've done that with pretty much every video I've done Except for one, I I absolutely I absolutely hate this video. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I hate it. And I never want to look at it again. But it's probably the most popular of its type, and I still have no idea why. And it, it it's it's always it's always frustrating because I wish I could just mimic just a small percentage of that video's success to all my other videos, and then I would be a very very happy person. Next question comes from Blackheart. You want to know Darth Vader versus Iron Man? Darth Vader. That. Uh, I mean, how, how how would Iron how the hell would Iron Man combat the Force? I, I mean, unless his armor is, is 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 Force protection, which as far as I know that I'm not sure if there's 
there's, there's not many metal in Star Wars that can do that, that is resistant to the Force. But honestly, I mean, Darth Vader's strength in the Force is so powerful that he can literally target specific bottle body organs. Like, I can't tell you how many times he has literally reached out with the Force and crushed someone's heart. So, or, or Force choked him. I mean, what's, what's he going to do? I mean, like, how would Tony Stark fight against the Force? It's impossible. And the last question of the episode comes from Black Rabbit of NL, which is very much just a rehash of a previous question. You just want to know what are my thoughts on the next uh, death battle between Batman versus Black Panther. I think Black Panther is going to win. I think what it comes down to is that I think fighting skills, they're about even, but there's nothing really in Batman's arsenal that will probably get through Black Panther's suit. Um, and I believe that Black Panther will be able to easily penetrate Batman's suit. I think that, that that's really what it comes down to. I mean, he, he, I mean, and, and once, and the thing is that Black Panther has senses that negates Batman's strongest element, and that is his ability to use strength. So even if he was using flash bombs or if he was using smoke, Black Panther can sense through all of that and still attack him. So yeah, I think Black Panther is going to win. And with that, those are all the questions you guys sent in for this episode. I'd like to thank all of you guys for making this episode possible. If you guys have any more questions you'd like me to answer in next week's episode, be sure to type them in the comments down below. But make sure you get them into me before next week before I start filming this. And if you really want to guarantee that your question will be answered uh, and you don't want to risk it getting mixed in the comment section, just send a private message to me either on Twitter or on Facebook. That's usually the best way to guarantee that I get a question. But if you still feel comfortable putting in the comment section, then you go right ahead. So with that out of the way, I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.